Matt Broad keeping a close eye on Hurricane Florence. Yeah, Florence is chugging along the eastern seaboard, going to be on the eastern seaboard pretty close to it about 24 hours from now. Still will have a little bit of time. I think tomorrow uh, pretty much the last day for residents to really get out of Dodge to avoid some what could be catastrophic danger. I know they did some studies earlier this year mm -hmm. and they showed that if this type of storm hit that mm -hmm. area, it would be devastating. Right on that angle with yep. some certain lowlands, some wetlands. We're talking about storm surges upwards to <laughs> potentially 15 feet. Let's mm -hmm. take a look at it currently as it continues to spin off to the west northwest about 17 miles per hour. Already seeing some large swells. Uh, places like Bermuda, even as far south as Florida. It really, these hurricanes affect really almost the entire eastern seaboard. But of course, the direct impact will be really along sections of South Carolina, North Carolina, potentially as far north as Virginia. There she is, Hurricane Florence, latest out of the National Hurricane Center in Miami. Top winds 140 miles per hour, still kind of cruising out of the west northwest at 17 miles per hour. Latest track. Keeps it pretty unchanged. Got to say, the Hurricane Center been very, very consistent with this track. Uh, near Wilmington, North Carolina, potentially a Category 4 hurricane. This is Friday, 9 a.m., so already making landfall. So likely making landfall late Thursday, early Friday morning. And boy, oh boy, it's going to slow down, and that's going to mean a ton of rain. Inland freshwater flooding. Here's your storm surges. New Bern, North Carolina, out toward the Outer Banks, 6 to 12 feet of storm surge. That's 6 to 12 feet additional water that you normally wouldn't see. And that's what we get so concerned about with these types of uh, hurricanes. 102 today's top temp in the city of Tucson, 91 in Sierra Vista. And just look at that gorgeous sight as that sun uh, continues its descent over the western skies. Down to double digits, 99 last check of the airport, dew point 37. West Siders, 99. East Siders at 98 degrees, and we're tracking temps into the 80s across Cochise and Santa Cruz County. A couple cloud buildups today, a couple showers toward the Huachuca Mountains, and that's really about all we've seen. High pressure over sort of uh, the eastern Pacific Ocean, southern Nevada, western Arizona keeps us hot. It also keeps us dry. Keeps temperatures in the low 70s for lows tonight with daytime highs. Tomorrow back uh, 100 to 102 or so into the 80s, 90s. Cochise, Santa Cruz County with mostly sunny skies. Forecast next seven days, 102 tomorrow, 102 Thursday. Friday and Saturday, we're looking pretty hot as we get ready to bear down on 101, our high temp on Saturday. By kickoff, temperatures likely in the low 90s, upper 90s for daytime highs Sunday through Tuesday. All the while, nighttime lows into the 70s. Paul Scala, what's on tap for you tonight? <laughs>